Caloric restriction. Most people think it's pretty straightforward. Cut calories, lose weight. Wrong-o. It's not that simple. If it was, then 200 calories of broccoli would be the same as 200 calories of Skittles, which is not true. Broccoli has fiber, micronutrients, and a whole bunch of other great compounds in it. Skittles just raises your blood sugar, causes obesity, maybe a little type 2 diabetes. So that theory goes out the window. So it can be really dangerous if you're counting calories and you don't know what you're doing. So today I'm going to teach you how to calculate your total daily caloric expenditure. So how many calories you're burning each day so that you can get an idea of how many calories you're consuming and how to modulate that. So create either a net positive balance or a net negative balance so that you can either be losing weight, hitting your goals or helping you gain weight. So to calculate your total calories burned each day, we need to look at three components. First is your BMR, your basal metabolic rate. This is gonna comprise about 60 to 75% of the total calories burned each day. Second is your activity thermogenesis. This is both non-exercise movements and exercise. And this is gonna make up anywhere from 15 to 30% of your total calories burned. The third effect is digestion, which is the thermic effect of food. Yes, you require calories to burn and process calories. So now that you understand the three components that make up your daily caloric expenditure, let's go ahead and calculate your BMR. So the two equations I'm about to show you on the screen here is for both men and women. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now I know this might be a little bit intimidating, but it's just simple addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So you can see here it's broken down based on sex, but also height, weight, and age. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to pause the video. I want you to fill out the equation and calculate your BMR. So the equation that we just used was called the Harris-Benedict equation. And what the basal metabolic rate is, is how many calories are you burning at rest? So not doing any sort of activity, you're not digesting any food, completely at rest, how many calories are you burning each day? So that's our baseline, right? Next, we're moving on to activity thermogenesis. So the chart that I'm gonna pull up here is gonna go from sedentary all the way down to active seven days a week. Now you wanna pick whatever your activity level is right now, your current activity level. So let's go ahead and take a look at the list. So choose which multiplier works best for your life right now in your current state of activity and go ahead and multiply your BMR with your activity thermogenesis. I'll pause the video here and I'll wait until you're done. So now that you've calculated your daily caloric expenditure, let's go ahead and look at how many calories you're consuming. To do that, we're gonna use a tool called the MyFitnessPal app. It's completely free and super easy to use. So the way it works is you either use the QR scanner to scan the barcode on the food products that you're consuming, or use the search bar at the top to search specific whole foods that you're consuming. Now, once you've figured this out, I want you to create a food log for the next four or five days. So that'll give you a general idea of how many calories you're consuming. The last calculation I'm gonna have you do is let's go ahead and take your total daily caloric intake, so how many calories you're consuming, and then I want you to subtract it by your total caloric expenditure, so the calculation that we uh, found earlier. Now, depending on whether or not that number is a positive or a negative is gonna tell you whether or not you're gaining weight or losing weight. So if it's negative, you're losing weight. If your net balance is positive, that means you're more likely to be storing that as body fat. Whatever your goals may look like, I hope this helped you get a better understanding of how to calculate your calorie intake and how to calculate your caloric expenditure. And what I'm expecting you to take away from this, what I'm hoping you take away from this, is instead of playing the victim mentality that many people face of like, oh, I have a slow metabolism or uh, just bad genetics, although those things may be true, I would like to think that you would wanna take control of your diet, your activity level, and see how you can manipulate these variables to get to whatever goals that you have. If you guys like this video or found it beneficial, leave me a like down below. If you have any questions or found this confusing, leave a comment down in the section below. I am quick to address any of your questions. And as always, be healthy, be active, and be yourself. Everyone's got something to give this world. You just gotta go out there and give it. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.